From the smartphone you hold in your hand for browsing Instagram to the smart house you live in, you've already used at least two pieces of technology. Among these technological advancements, robots have gained popularity by getting closer to human lives. With these intelligent machines being a part of our lives, have you ever wondered how robots are made? Or how it would be like living with these robots? Did we just wake the curious kid in your mind? Don't worry, we got you covered. In this video, we're taking a look at the process of manufacturing robots, some interesting facts about these machines and how they impact our future. Science and technology have had an impact on almost every single aspect of modern human life. We have advanced over the last few decades, changing our perspectives on life. Even though robots have solved the majority of our everyday issues, they can still cause problems. Let's start with how these robots are made and then move to the bright side and the dark side of robots. Robots are developed through a multi-step process that includes research and development, design, prototyping, fabrication, testing and assembly, followed by quality control and brain programming. Designing a robot includes a three-step process that is iterated or repeated multiple times to achieve the desired perfect or near-perfect outcome. The first step is to define the problem. Here, we identify the problem we want to solve with the robot we want to build. We also define the goals we want to achieve with the bot. Then there's the research. This is the time to review research papers and other literature to determine what can and cannot be done. You should brainstorm with team members to explore all ideas and one plan that everyone agrees on objectively, based on the research they've done, should be charted out here. Finally, in order to determine whether your ideas are viable, you must create a prototype that incorporates your concepts. Check to see if it works as it should and learn from your mistakes. You should iterate on your prototype several times, adding fixes for any issues you discovered with each new prototype. After deciding on the best prototype, you must build it in real-world conditions using materials and plans that are as close to the final product as possible. During the fabrication phase, you must determine the materials that will be used in the final version of the robot, the potential constraints of your production model design, and the cost to make it. Factories or other manufacturing facilities must be identified, and production must be phased. Once your first mass-produced model is complete, test it thoroughly in almost every way you can think of. If your robot is to be commercially released, all bugs and other issues must be completely resolved before people will invest in your product. Revise the design to make it ready to be introduced as the final product after making changes from the pre-production robot. Identify potential problem areas and flag bugs that can be fixed later and are of lower priority. Put your final product together and you've completed your first robot. The most important thing to do after creating the release version of your robot is to run it through a strict maze of quality control tests. The tests are standardized, so test the robot according to its intended use, and if problems arise, address them as soon as possible. Quality control should not stop with the first few units. If you intend to mass produce the robot, you must maintain strict quality control standards to produce the best robot possible. We've talked about the robot's brain, but we've never considered how the robot thinks. The software is the component that instructs the robot on how to think and behave when confronted with the myriad of variables in its working environment. You can easily program commercially available robots like the Roomba with your phone, but many things happen behind the scenes to allow the Roomba to do what you ask. With programs written in languages such as C, C++ or Python, you instruct a robot on what to do. You can program the robot to perform any task you want if you know how to code well. And even if you don't, there are resources online that will allow you to do so. You can get the code that will work with your robot's software to make it do what you want. However, going this route limits you because you can only do what someone else has done. Specific and custom tasks that only apply to you should be created from the ground up. So learning programming is a must if you want to create custom tasks for your robot. A robot, like a computer, runs the software you write on a robot operating system, which consists of libraries and tools that aid in the development of robot applications. Several well-known companies produce robots for use in industry, customer service, education, and the military. ABB, an electrical engineering firm, is a well-known manufacturer of assembly line robots and other automation equipment. Yaskawa is another Japanese company that primarily manufactures industrial robots. Other well-known manufacturers of industrial robots include Epson, Kawasaki, and Mitsubishi. 
With its robot vacuum cleaners, iRobot is the first name that comes to mind when it comes to consumer robots. Let's look at the future of these automated machines now that you know how they're made. AI technologies are shaping up to the next breakthrough in scientific research and developments, with enormous industrial and commercial potential when combined with robots. The AI we have now is extremely intelligent, but reaching the next level of autonomy is only a few years away. Retraining a robot for a new skill or technology will take much less time than training a human, and they will be extremely useful in industries that constantly change their standards and technologies. Investor funding is also required for robot technology to mature, and as robot adoption increases, the money will flow naturally. The impending robot revolution will have an impact on almost every industry you can think of. Human effort reduction has always been the focus of research and development, and despite what the movies suggest, people will be more than willing to let a robot do their work for them. They will not replace human workers because they still need to be supervised and maintained, and it is impractical to let robots run the entire assembly lines or factories. Robots with machine learning capabilities have the potential to automatically adapt to new environments, allowing them to be used for other purposes if they become less efficient at the job they were designed to do. Intelligent applications enable us to purchase anything we require online. We can order all of our groceries from online stores instead of walking to the downtown supermarket. We're not saying it's completely bad, but it has become partially responsible for making us sick with obesity, diabetes, and high blood pressure. Humanoid robots are being developed by robotics industry giants such as Japan and Korea. They are designed to resemble humans. Making robots that look and behave like actual human beings can encourage people to develop feelings for these machines. This can increase user trust, but it can also lead to overconfidence. Could we become overly reliant on robots, causing problems when they are not present? This scenario is depicted in the film Her, in which a man develops a relationship with an intelligent computer operating system personified by a female voice. Furthermore, many businesses and factories have begun to use robots in their primary processes because it is more cost-effective. Humans are already being replaced by robots at an alarming rate. This has put the job market in jeopardy and resulted in workforce reductions. According to a recent survey, each additional robot in the US economy reduces employment by 5.6 workers, and each robot added to the workforce per 1,000 human workers reduces wages by 0.25 to 0.5%. Still watching? We knew you'd love our video. Well, we'd be even happier if you could just hit that like button. Coming back to the scenario, what do we think about the future of humans with robots? Well, nothing in this world is either completely bad or completely good. It all depends on how you want to see it in the big picture. There are both positive and negative aspects to robots being a part of our lives. It is up to us to decide how much we allow them to control our lives. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. But before that, we'd like to have your opinion about robots. Do you think robots can take over the human race? Let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.